step into reading three. Mark Brown, Arthur's lost puppy. Arthur and D. W. took Baby Kate to the street fair. Pal came along too. There was lots to do. Arthur gave Kate a ride in a little fire truck that went around and around. D. W. got her face painted. Look, Kate," she said. "I'm a cat." But Kate was looking at something else. Suddenly, Kate began to cry. "Are you hungry?" asked Arthur. "Here's your bottle." But Kate did not want her bottle. "Wah, wah, wah!" she cried. "Do you have a wet diaper?" asked D. W. But Kate's diaper was dry, and still she cried, "Wa, wa, wa!" Arthur lifted the baby from her stroller. He rocked her in his arms. He tickled her tummy. He made funny faces, but still she cried, "Wa, wa, wa!" Kate loves ice cream," said Arthur. "Run to the store, D. W." And get her a cone. D. W. tied Pal's leash to a bench and went into the store. A clown with balloons walked by. Pal barked at him, "Woof, woof, woof!" When D. W. came out of the store, Pal was gone. She looked up and down the street. "That dog is trouble!" she cried. And she ran to tell Arthur. Oh no! cried Arthur. Why would Pal run away? Maybe he's mad at you," said D. W. "You yelled at him today for chewing your slippers." Arthur said nothing. He just looked very sad. But Kate had a lot to say. Wah wah wah! She cried. Then Arthur said, "D. W., take Kate home. Maybe she needs a doctor, and I need to find Bell." He began calling, "Here, Bell! Here, Bell!" Arthur passed the rain toss table, the Bob for apples table, and a table with pumpkin pies, chocolate cakes, and cookies. He wished there was a table with hamburgers. Pal would be sure to be hanging around it. Have you seen a lost puppy? Arthur asked a police officer. A lost puppy? Said the officer. Yes, one was taken to the school. Oh, thank you," said Arthur, and he ran to the school. But the lost puppy was not Pal. Arthur sadly walked home. Back at the street fair, the clown with the balloons tripped over his big floppy shoes. Crash! Down he went, and as he fell, he let go of his balloons. Then guess what? A little brown puppy jumped up and grabbed the balloon strings with his teeth. The balloons rose higher and higher, over the roofs, over the trees, up, up, up they went. And so did Bell. Look! Someone shouted, "A flying puppy!" Then suddenly, bang, pop, bang! The balloons hit a tall tree. One by one, they burst. Bell floated slowly down. When he got home, he still had one beautiful red balloon, and one was all he needed to make Baby Kate very happy.